So a lot of people these days use the same browser between phone, tablet, laptop, work PC, home PC, and so on. And it's really convenient to have the ability to synchronize tabs or send and synchronize whatever you want, basically. So you could send yourself a tab that your uh, website that you're browsing on your phone browser uh, to your work PC so that you can finish reading it when you get to work or over lunch or break or whatever, or if you're reading something at work and you want something to finish off when you're uh, commuting home, on the bus, train, whatever, you can do that really easily. Um, but it's not just limited to tabs or um, uh, websites or things either. You can send yourself files, notes, uh, reminders, all that kind of thing. So I'm going to give an example of sending a tab. So I'm reading this um, Guardian article here, and um, maybe I want to send that to my uh, car or uh, head unit or something like that or on the laptop and I just want to read it when I've got some time later on throughout the day where I'm just about to pop out or whatever so first thing to do is you need to install um, I'm using Pushbullet there are other apps that do the same thing or similar things but Pushbullet's free and it works and the basics are all there so you can see I've got a few devices uh, Firefox is the browser I use on everything so that's really convenient I've got my phone and I've got my car's um, Android stereo as well, which has Pushbullet installed. So I can send myself map links, um, and reminders, addresses that I copy in the PC, and they're, they're ready in the car uh, when I'm ready to navigate as soon as I get in and start it up. So what you do once you've got Pushbullet installed is install the app on your phone. And again, the Android app is also free. Um, just go to that. Push helps if I can spell. So I've already got that installed, but yeah, that's it's really easy to set up. And as long as you sign into your Google account or an account with the same logon details on each device, they'll show up. Um, it's worth noting that Firefox or a browser will show up as the same thing on all devices. So when you send something to Firefox for another device, it will send it to the PC version of Firefox or the Mac version of Firefox for all of those devices because Firefox is accounted as one rather than individual browsers so that might be an annoyance for some but it works fine for me I mean when I'm sending something to Firefox I want to send it to that to the browser so that's that's fine um, vice versa you can send stuff from browser to phone um, but phones and other devices are treated as individual devices so let's go back to the phone and I want to send my PC uh, which I've got open in the camera window that you can see there, uh, this this article that I'm reading. So I'll click the menu icon, and because I use this often, it's across the top on Firefox, otherwise you'll be clicking the share button to get, it, get that. Um, click share to uh, push bullet, and then from here you can scroll and select the device that you want to send to. And because I want to send to my PC browser, which is Firefox, I'll tap Firefox, and you'll see it will open immediately on the PC browser. And it's easy as that. Um, the other little thing to note is if you are reading a website that has a mobile view, so let's just go back to that article again. So it loads it with AMP in the before the URL itself. That's just to denote that it's a mobile orientated website. That will also send to Firefox. So if I send that again, you'll see it loads it in a sort of mobile view on the browser on the PC. And that's going to be annoying for some. So it's just worth noting that when you do send it, you can delete the AMP bit in the URL, and then that loads the full version. Or you can just edit the URL on the mobile browser to have uh, to remove the AMP and then send it without, and that will send the standard version. Um, so maybe that's a thing they can change in future updates, just to recognize when you're sending from a mobile version to a desktop version to omit the mobile um, prefix for the URL. Um, but it's not really a major thing to remove manually, so that's all fine. Um, but yeah, hope this uh, was quite interesting and insightful for some. And I'll try and do some others because I've got some whole bunch of tools and utilities which do useful things. So I'd like to do a few more videos on those just to make life easier for a lot of people. And uh, I know a lot of people do multitask in this manner. So it's, it's quite nice to have. Thanks.